Okay, I gotta get out of the water. Okay. Now it's starting to be a little cold even for me to handle. And that's the wind. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Actually, I'll start right here. Ha. Oh. oh, man. Oh. Oh. Man, if I wish you guys saw me. I mean, it's a good thing I didn't press record earlier because, man. I was going crazy trying to psych myself up jumping in there. Uh, well, the good news is it's still, still overcast and much, and no kidding, it's exactly 54 degrees out like it was yesterday. So at least the weather's consistent. Uh, bad news, um, it still equals for a very cold plunge I suppose oh oh that's not good okay I need to like get dried off like right now ha oh. okay I mean my suit's still wet obviously but that's gonna that's to be expected okay let me uh get this right here, here we go and uh, one last thing. To make sure, just so, in case some of you guys are wondering, yes, I actually do wash this. Hung it up and everything. So I'm going to put the hanger right here. Let me put it on. Huh. It looks like I'm wearing a long flowy dress. Okay. Um, okay. So I got water in my ear, I guess. Uh, hold on. Hold on a second. Okay. That is not rocket. Oh. Got a little water on the computer. Hold on a second. Let me uh, sort of pat it off real fast. There we go. Okay. Let's see if I can uh, bring it over here. Okay. Oh, you guys get to see the table that the, the computer's on. Don't worry. No, seriously, like, I was shocked when I, because here's the thing, and this is my low. Yesterday it was cold and it actually rained a lot. Well, not a lot, but you know, kind of on and off and kind of accentuated, accentuated the, um, like how cold and damp it is outside. So that part I wouldn't necessarily say was fun, but, uh, my high is, uh, actually I, I've got a couple highs. You know, I, I went to the, uh, Moonlight Oddies market yesterday in Corning, had a wonderful time, saw some nice people, very nice people. Uh, I, um, Went to the Switz last night for dinner. Actually, um, they were doing a um a sampling of uh, canned cocktails called the uh, Loyal Nine. For those of you who don't know what um, actually, I'll, I'll do my act of kindness. Then I'll talk about uh, what they are. Um, I had to say my act of kindness was I actually blew off the deck yesterday before I went to the Moonlight Audis Market. So um, happy Sunday, everybody. Okay, one last thing. Seriously, like. I was going ballistic trying like, oh, I don't want to go in. I don't want to jump in the water. Like, as funny as it would have been for you guys to, you know, what, I mean, listen, it's 54 degrees out. You can only imagine how cold the water is. Okay? It's not fun. Okay, it's a little bit fun. But still, it's, you know what? It's like getting a shot when you're a kid. From the doc like getting a shot from the doctor when you're a kid like obviously it won't kill you but it's not gonna feel very comfortable either so with that in mind uh last night i went to we uh my dad and i went to the switch for dinner it's just the two of us you know my brother's out um overseas and my mom is still out in las vegas 
and meanwhile my sister-in-law is uh taking care of my nephews and don't get me wrong she could trust us for taking them out to dinner but not for an entire night so you know we're kind of kind of you know what in a way i guess the clouds kind of perfectly personify like how this weekend kind of is i mean you know it's funny i was at the oddities market yesterday and i was having this conversation with someone that i actually knew apparently she was my old art teacher in high school small world anyway i was telling her like you have no idea how often just the clouds alone deter people from coming up here seriously there have been days where it didn't rain at all it was perfectly nice perfectly warm but because it's clouds because it's you know, overcast people think it's gonna rain so they don't come up to the lake at all and that really does happen i mean me per i mean you guys know me at this point i love coming up here enough where this won't change anything for me although it is i do find it kind of funny how um it's exactly the same weather as it was yesterday I mean, a less less of a chance of rain today, but still, but you know, still just like yesterday. So yesterday we went. So yesterday my dad and I went to Switzerland, and uh, I was trying uh, canned cocktails for the first time. Now, for those of you who don't know, um, canned cocktails, you know, they've been a thing for a little a little while now. And uh, basically, for those of you who don't know what a cocktail is, basically like um, like a margarita is a cocktail. Um, my late grandfather's drink of choice in Manhattan, that's a cocktail. An old-fashioned, that's a cocktail. As well as the euphemism for something <clears throat> sexual. Um, so, yeah, cocktails, they've been around forever. Well, some companies thought of, you know, making cocktails in a can for mass production for people to, you know, get because... Usually the ingredients for making a cocktail can be a little expensive sometimes, and so canned cocktails are a way to mitigate the price. The problem is, and a lot of cocktail aficionados are on the fence about this, because canned, co canned cocktails are made in mass production, that may or may not mean you're getting the best quality in terms of what you're looking for in a cocktail. And keep in mind, as you guys know, I'm actually trying to be more of a connoisseur of this kind of stuff, but... I obviously know I'm only still learning, so I couldn't necessarily tell you what I'm supposed to be looking for, but if you ever have Loyal 9 canned cocktails, I didn't think they were bad. I think I thought they were pretty good. I didn't think they were bad. I liked them. There was uh, three flavors, um, and they were offering one free sample for every person. And there were three flavors, so there was one I couldn't... The one I didn't have was um, the uh, classic, the uh, iced tea and lemonade one. Which, for those of you who don't know, is an Arnold Palmer, but it's an Arnold Palmer with, you know, vodka in it. And that's what, like, the classic lemonade and the lemonade iced tea, they had vodka in it. The margarita naturally had tequila in it. I'll get to that one in a second. And, um, so I didn't try the, uh, lemonade iced tea, but... I did try the class, but my dad and I sort of, sort of split the uh, the classic lemonade and the margarita. Now, I mentioned the lemonade had vodka. That was pretty good. It was a very good. It's a, it's a hard lemonade. It's a hard lemonade. It's a, it's a hard lemonade, and it was good. I liked it. But it was the margarita that was going to be the real test because um, growing up, my father told my brother and I that you shouldn't drink tequila. Like, my father does not like tequila. Not because it's a strong spirit, even though it is. But to him, it tastes like paint thinner. Now, of the times I've ever had a margarita, I, and obviously they had tequila in it, I never got the paint thinner taste, but it is strong. So, with that said, it was good. You know, it definitely... You, know, you got the um, you got the triple sack. There was definitely a taste of triple sack. There was a taste of lime because that's what margaritas is. It's lime. And you know tequila, obviously. And there was tequila there, but it wasn't overpowering. So, I mean, 
If you are like a diehard, make your own classic cocktails kind of person, I don't see Loyal Nine swaying you in the other direction. But if you're curious, give it a try. They, they were pretty good. And obviously for dinner last night, I had, um, you know, uh, clam chowder. Which, seriously, hot clam chowder on a day like yesterday? Yeah, it, it was needed. Um, you know, salad and a prime rib and onion rings. It was a great, it was a great meal. Although, um, that reminds me. Um, and this really, and I know this is a rookie mistake, but... Don't have cock, don't have alcohol of any kind, whether it's a canned cocktail, regular cocktail, beer, wine. Don't have it. I, like, I had the cocktails, the canned cocktails, before I had my, uh, before I had, before I ate anything. Which, um, yeah, again, it's a rookie mistake. Reason being is, like, okay, I will admit, I'm not entirely sure what being buzzed feels like. But if it's what I think it is to me, it feels as if, like, my eyes are kind of sinking in, like, to the inside of my head, if that makes any sense. Like, don't misunderstand me. Like, I was still very aware of everything going on. And if I absolutely had to, I am capable of driving, but I would never do it. No matter how, sh I trained myself to, I trained myself to tell myself that no matter how sure I am, no matter how sure I feel after having any kind of alcohol, I will not drive. I mean, which also reminds me, um, if you are consuming alcohol of any kind, please drink responsibly. Please don't drink alone. And in the name of all that is good and holy, please don't drink and drive. Again, I was with my father last night, so it was okay. But you got to be careful about that stuff. So, um, that was a long-winded way of saying I did have a very nice time this way. Again, they, I, I, I like Loyal 9. It was, they, they were good. It was very good. Um, speaking of good, let's see how good I am about, uh, my, uh, NFL picks for today, shall we? Okay, let's see. Got, uh, the Falcons and the Lions. I'll take the Lions. Chargers and Vikings. I'll get the, I'll, get, I'll do the Chargers. Saints and Packers, Saints. Texans and Jaguars. I'll do the Jaguars. Broncos and the Dolphins. <laughs> oh yeah, the Dolphins are gonna destroy the Broncos today. Holy cow! Uh, let's see, Titans and Browns. Ooh. Hmm. Titans and Browns. Now go. You know what? I'll go with the Browns. Wait, did the Browns... The Browns are 1-1, one one, aren't they? Yeah, okay, yeah. So, yeah, I'll do I'll do the Browns. Bills and Commanders. Let's go, Buffalo! Of course I'm picking the Bills to win. You crazy? That'd be, that'd be silly for me not to. It'd be silly of me not to do that. Okay, uh, let's see. Scroll out a little more. Let's see. Uh... Got the Colts against the Ravens. I'm picking the Ravens. Honestly, the Colts winning against a bad Texans team. Yeah. Again, it'll be... Listen, if I ever choose the Colts for any of these picks, like, go and play the lottery. Because it's never happening. I've never... For those of you who don't know, I've ne I don't hate the Colts. I've just never been impressed by them. Certainly not enough to actually pick them on a consistent basis. Um, so, yeah, I'm picking the Ravens over the Colts. Patriots and the Jets. I mean, look, after what my Cowboys did to them, which is what the Bills should have done, by the way, the Jets can only go up from that, so I'm picking the Jets over the Patriots. Let's see, Panthers and the Seahawks. I'll pick the Seahawks. Bears and the Chiefs. Oh, come on. That's easy. Of course I'm picking the Chiefs. How do you not pick the Chiefs? Like, that's... An, like, seriously, if no one's picking the Chiefs for that game, you're a moron. 
If anyone's picking the Chiefs that game, you're a moron. If anyone, if anyone is not picking the Chiefs for that game, you're a moron. The Chiefs got this. Easy. Uh, my Dallas Cowboys versus the Arizona Cardinals. Oh, that's easy. Of course I'm picking my Cowboys. Are you kidding me? I mean, look. Yeah, the Giants just beat the Cardinals. But that was the conclusion of, like, the worst six, six quarters of football I think any team's ever had. Like, the Giants won, but they made one of the greatest comebacks in NFL history. The Cowboys will not need to do any of that. So, yeah, I'm picking my Cowboys over the Cardinals. Why would I not do that? And finally tonight, the Steelers versus the Raiders. Honestly, I felt the Raiders have been more of a consistent team than the Steelers. So I'll pick the Raiders. So those are picks 34 through 46 of um of this week of this season. So I got uh, the Lions, the Chargers, the Saints, the Jaguars, the Dolphins, the Browns, the Let's Go Buffalo. The Ravens, the Jets, the Seahawks, the Chiefs, go Cowboys, and the Raiders. That sounds simple enough. And now I gotta do this thing where I gotta do. Seriously, like, look, look how rough it is out there. Look how rough it is out there. I just stepped on a rock, I think. Or a nail. Don't worry, it was the flat end of a nail. It's fine. Um, this is both haunting and beautiful at the same time. And I love this. I really do. Now I need to get inside and take a very hot shower. Because, uh, yeah, it's great. I'm wearing a shirt, but it's only doing so much. I hope you all like this video. If you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on social media. As always, I am very humbled that I made this video for all of you guys watching. Enjoy for Hopefully, you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Sunday. Happy Sunday, everyone. And remember, if you guys want to talk to me, we'll be here to lend you. I'll be back. Take care and make good choices. 607 all day, baby.